A pointer is a variable that contains a number. It really is that simple. Many languages such as Java, Python and Ruby don't explicitly use pointers. Other languages such as Pascal, C and C++ do. A pointer gives you the ability to access a specific location or address in memory and to write or read pieces of data to and from that location. This can be a very efficient coding technique, but if used incorrectly, it can also corrupt memory by accidentally overwriting other bits of data and ultimately crashing your program. In C, a pointer variable is indicated with an asterisk. Here, numptr is a pointer to an integer. Ampersand means address of, so numptr stores a number representing the address where the integer value of the num variable is stored. I can also use an asterisk to get the values at an address. That's called dereferencing. Dereferencing just means go to this address to get or set the data. So here num2 is assigned the int value at the address stored in numptr, that is the value 100 assigned to num. Let me run this. The addresses are shown in hexadecimal format, but they are just numbers. The important thing to note is that the number stored by the pointer variable numptr is the same as the address of the variable num, and the value of num2, which was read from the address stored in numptr, is 100, the same as the value of num. Pointers can be used in quite complicated ways to create lists and branching or tree-like data structures where one pointer stores the address of another pointer, or you could say it points to another pointer. In programming books, arrows are often used to show pointers pointing to other pointers. Remember, though, that the arrows are just a graphical representation. What is really happening is that each pointer variable stores a number, the address, of the thing to which it points.